Welcome back to Alluring Fishing. It's been a long time since I've made a video on lures. I've put up a lot of videos on my fishing exploits which people have uh, responded to quite favorably. It's been about 15 months since I've started this um, idea of putting up my experience with what I've been able to catch fish with and it's been a learning experience for me and it's been a great um, opportunity for me to refine my skills and to share that information with people out in the fishing world who are also trying to do what I'm trying to do which is just to be more successful when we go out to try and catch fish and to be as productive as possible in the time that we have available. So as you would have seen from some of my other videos I'm very much of the approach that you go out with a specific purpose in mind and you spend um, good quality time and come back with some good photographs. I put all my fish back. Um, I do eat occasionally, um, particularly whiting, but most of the time it's just to take a photo, to have some fun, to, to connect with nature and to be able to use my time productively. So today what I'm going to talk about is, is my top 10 tailor lures and unfortunately there's more than 10 so I'm just using that as a title of the video but there are obviously lures that work better than others there's a lot that work um, but there's also some that just are almost you could even call them fish finders they're so good at, at picking up where the fish are that you can use that and know that if there's a fish there then that, that lure will find it so um, without further ado I'm going to dive in and show you what I'm what I'm using as my top most favorite lures so to start off with we'll grab these which are basically 40 mils, um, sorry, 40 gram, uh, anything between 40, 42, 45 gram. And um, my number one favorite, as everybody who would have watched the channel will know, is the Savage Gear Sea Missile, 42 gram. And um, I've replaced that treble hook with a uh, single hook. And in a moment, I'll show you also how to do that. Very simple but um, we'll go through that that process anyway so that's that's the one that I can pretty much use as a fish finder and I'll know that if that is in the water and nothing's hitting it then there's pretty much no fish around so we'll leave him over there next next favorite in daytime hours is um, the Spaniard and, and um, this is rated as a 40 gram lure but we've all seen the videos on YouTube that proves that it's a 30 gram lure so the disadvantage is it doesn't doesn't cast as far um, it's not 40 grams but it still catches fish and uh, quite honestly the black um, and the blue they tend to work equally well um, I like them both and you'll probably get mixed results and either of them will produce fish so we'll stick those ones over there the next two favorites in that 40 to 47 I think these are 45 gram is the iron candy cooters that's a silver flash color and these come standard with with a single hook and um, you don't have to do anything the hook quality on these is okay it's not too bad but when they go I'll replace them with a, a mustad or a BKK and um, I'll show you that now as well because there's some interesting stuff that I discovered about BKK hooks so the other amazing color is the glow in the iron candy cooter and that is a 45 gram lure does really well on on dusk and dawn so we'll we'll put these ones aside and um, I'll show you the smaller ones as well so the smaller lures that I'm using um, just smaller in profile again the iron candy in the glow color this is the bullet 47 gram comes with a standard single hook um, and these Nord streams uh, that's a 25 gram again comes with a single hook and um, the 40 gram which also comes with a single hook pre-rigged unfortunately very very difficult to get hold of these these days um, nobody seems to have them and then um, there's the iron candy cooters in the 21 gram again the glow color and uh, and I've actually changed these hooks these are not the standard hooks um, 
got these off some metals that didn't work from BCF but the hooks were good uh, the metals themselves I can't remember what brand they were but they were completely useless but I took the hooks off and they've proved to be really good and the silver flash in the bullet foil is something that's also very very effective in, in daylight from the iron candy and um, there's a smaller uh, and this is a question that's come up as well people have asked does the smaller uh, Savage Gear work I do find that I, I get less and I don't know for what reason but I get less bites on, on the smaller um, I think these are 21 gram or 25 gram somewhere around there um, but I've changed the hook to a, to a 1 0 size on the back and it could have something to do with it but um, a bigger hook on this lure is just out of proportion so it might be that the, the fish are not hooking up because of the hook but um, definitely less so I've done an experiment where I've actually tried the 40, 42 gram um, and then straight away once you've found fish put on the smaller one and see if that will also hook them up and there's definitely less there's fish attacking the smaller lure so I can't explain that and that's just personal experience of what's happened now this is something that one of the viewers actually um, sent a message and asked me if I would try out the, the duo and these are available at, at BCF and um, they are about $16 they've recently come on the market uh, 40 gram I believe they are designed in Japan um, made in Vietnam whatever difference that makes probably nothing but what I found interesting about these is that they um, have a very similar profile to the iron candy and they, they weigh a very similar amount the iron candy weighs 47 grams the duo weighs 40 grams but I've really found that the duo works well um, the standard um, silver color has, has produced good results straight up straight off um, I'm very happy with this lure for a, you know for a new edition the only thing that I can fault it on is that it, this is, these are the hooks that it came with so I'm not quite sure what they were intending this lure to be used for but um, obviously I'm not using it for what it was intended for but the way that I've converted it with that single hook has actually made it very effective for Taylor so I just took these smaller uh, assist hooks off put a single hook on and um, really good effective lure okay so I'll just show you how I've uh, changed over the hooks so I've just prepared this before um, going on to the video we've got the treble hook that comes standard we've taken a single hook and hooked it onto the back of the split ring we're just going to take that split ring and twist it across and the one will drop off and the other one will pop on so that's as easy as it is um, I used to use the swivels and on some lures I still do but um, sometimes the swivels get caught on the side of the the, the the hook actually wraps around and gets hooked across the lure and it's ineffective and you can feel it when you're retrieving it that it's not retrieving properly so I've started to to move away from the swivels although I do think they have an advantage um, sometimes they just hook up on the lure and makes it a, a little bit difficult to um, to cast the lure out properly so what I actually found the other day which was very interesting for me is I've, I've always bought these mustads and um, so this is a mustad really good quality hook probably you know one of the better quality hooks and this is something from Big W now you guys are probably laughing and saying oh well Big W you know what do they sell when I had a look at this hook I actually saw the packet and I thought well you know it looks like a really good hook um, it looks similar to a mustad so what is it and um, I had a look at the packet and that's the packet it's a Tekken um, but I thought well I've never heard of this brand obviously just a big W brand but when you look on the back um, it's actually a BKK hook and uh, it's it looks like it's manufactured in in, um, in China but it's uh, all the Japanese specification so these are like four dollars for a packet of six there's no reason why you, you need to go and pay whatever it is you know for the must adds ten bucks or I think they're just as good I mean BKK is a very good um, hook brand so I would you know I don't I've had no problems with them and stay sharp I've been using them for a while so I would recommend that for sure 
So the next thing I want to talk about is um, these swivel clips, which people are constantly asking me, does it make a difference if you use a swivel clip or should you be tying the lure straight onto the, the fishing line and does the fish see the clip and you know all of these questions that, that get asked all the time. So personally I don't think it makes a difference. Um, these ones are really cool. I bought them on eBay. Um, I think they were six dollars for the box that came from China. Uh, maybe two weeks to get here. They're stainless steel and they've got a, a whole range of sizes. I, I tend to use the smaller sizes because they're quite highly rated in terms of strength. Um, yeah, so I, I'm quite happy with these and I don't honestly believe that the fish can see them. I think if a fish like a tailor has made a commitment to eat something, they're, they're not going to study it and see, well, does it have a clip on the front and is it going to, you know, I don't think it makes a difference. It's, it's really academic. The clip itself has a swivel on it, which I think is really cool. It takes out that line twist problem. Um, they, they really are quite easy to to snap in and snap out. Um, you know, it's it's not a difficult clip to use. You don't need a lot of dexterity. It's very very simple and very slim line. And it actually, to me, I wouldn't honestly wouldn't waste my time tying lures on uh, and and untying them and cutting line and stuff like that on the beach. Just no point. Okay, so I'll move on to the rods. The the rod that I'm still using, which I'm quite happy with, is um, the Seabass 8.6. That's 8.6 meter. I've changed my reel, however. Um, now I'm just using Stratix um, off the beach. I don't believe that the the Daiwas are made to the to the sort of durability that they need to be to do this kind of thing. The problem that I had with the Daiwas was these um, roller bearings constantly seized up literally within weeks of, of using them you know in the surf and it was just very very frustrating to constantly have to change those things and you get no warranty from Daiwa and you really get no interest from them either they some of the reels that I sent in there to have them replaced um, they got the reels back and they'd been damaged they'd been dropped they'd been you know just not looked after so I'm quite happy to to promote a, a Shimano product because it works well for me and I'm quite happy that you know it's a good quality product there's my my clip on the end um, that's exactly the one that I showed a few minutes ago and the knot that we're using a lot of people have asked about this and um, I still maintain that this is probably the best knot that you should be using um, the FG knot and I don't I don't find anything better than that. It's difficult to tie, but it certainly is something that is very, very strong. So learn, learn to tie it. There's obviously lots of videos on YouTube that shows people how to do it, so I'm not going to go into that. And the other rod, much the same, just a bit bigger. I've uh, chucked the Daiwa. I had a, a Daiwa Salt 2. Um, replace that with a Stratic 5000 and quite honestly I don't think you're going to get a better reel for the price for uh, what this can do had absolutely no problems I've been using these reels now for over a year um, extensive use and nothing has gone wrong with them so I honestly can't fault them this is the 10 foot 6 sea bass and um, available from BCF for anything between 180 to 200 dollars the last um, stuff that I want to touch on I didn't talk about these before these are the GT ice creams these are very very effective for Taylor when the conditions are flat meaning that there's no wind the, the surface of the water is quite flat um, this works like a popper but it's not anywhere near the effort of a popper so it casts really really far comes standard with this setup with the swivel and the single hook and um, there's a, a squid color um, that's the squid one then there's a glow color which charges up with the UV light um, this looks a bit like a squid so I'm not sure what the tailor think it is but they really go for it when it's sitting on top of the water and you can let these sink as well so you can fish the whole water column and this this green is a perfect color to just create a shadow on top of the water so the idea with these is you cast them out really far on flat water when there's no wind and you retrieve them at a leisurely pace which makes them skip across the top of the water and um, as they do that they they have a naturally erratic movement which 
causes them to dart from side to side and they're very effective on tail air. If there's no waves, if there's just nothing going on and you want to create some kind of a disturbance on the surface, they make a nice, nice splashing sound and far more easy to, to work this than a popper, much less effort required because you actually just reel it in and it darts around and splashes and pops all by itself. Last thing people have asked about, um, what leader do I use? So sometimes I'll use plain mono, sometimes I'll use fluoro. This is just what I have at the moment. I don't believe with tail it makes a huge difference. I think with whiting and stuff it makes a difference. But um, if we're talking about a strong leader that's that's going to you know take a lot of teeth biting and stuff like that, I've I've been very successful with this. And this I mean this roll has lasted me a long time anyway. Um, but that's that's the leader that I use, 20 pound for Taylor. Um, I tried Black Magic as the first, you know, brand, and uh, it's never let me down. So I'm quite happy with that. So there we go. I think um, just an update, you know, on the stuff that I've done before, uh, and to answer some of the questions that people have asked, you know, specifically about these clips and whether we should be using clips or if it's more effective to tie the lure on. I don't think it is. I think we just use a clip and make things quick and easy. Um, yeah, the duo, great lure, easy, available from BCF. All in all, um, give us your comments. Um, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this helps you and um, see you next time. Cheers.